So we're going to start this season with a general update. Um, both hives from last season died. Uh, they made it through the winter for the most part until mid-March, and then they were both, uh, I went out to check them one week and they were both dead. I didn't make any videos over the winter. I really didn't do much with the beekeeping aside from checking the hives periodically to make sure they're doing okay. So I took the equipment back to the house and cleaned it out. I took the swarm traps and I went and hung them. Uh, I took one of the hive boxes and I put it on an old tin shed in my yard. Now on the 25th of April, I seen scouts checking out the, the hive box. On the 28th, I seen bees flying into the hive, bringing pollen in. And it just got to a point where I was seeing more and more bees flying in and out. So I, I kind of figured there's, there's bees in this box, I got to do something with them. And that's when I decided to put them on a stand in the yard and just keep them here. Now, it was nice having it in the yard, and I think I'm going to keep it there. What I ended up doing was taking the hive down off the shed, putting it down in front of the shed, and letting the bees go to it there so it's where I can reach it. Now, I moved them on the 8th, and this video is on the 10th when I'm doing a general inspection. So we're going to start this year with new bees and we're going to give it another shot and see what happens. And I still have swarm traps out so there's a possibility of catching more which will be nice. Now I have another yard that I'm going to use so I'm not going to keep everything here I'm going to take it over and put it in a different field somewhere where it's not in the way and where I have access to it at any time. So I made a stand and I took the hive off the shed, I put it in the yard. I'm going to leave them in the yard this year, I'm going to see what they do. I don't think I'm going to do anything real drastic with them, I don't think I'm going to try to split them. I'm just going to uh, keep an eye on them, give them some sa space when they need it, and uh, I will be feeding them a little more this year. Uh, I'm not going to be using a smoker as often. I'm going to try to use a sugar water mixture when I when I check them and just spray them down with that. And there's not much going on. This is the first time I checked the hive since I moved it off the shed. Now they're building out comb and they're collecting nectar and they're gathering pollen. Oh, in one of these shots, I was able to find the queen. I'm going to see if I can. Uh, I'm going to see if I can point her out when when the frame comes up. Aside from that, it's just going to be. This is just going to be a general conversation of what I have planned. I am going to be making more equipment. I plan on catching more swarms, or at least I want to catch more swarms. I still don't want to have to purchase bees. I want to try to do as much as I can without going out and buying equipment. Now I have decided to buy frames. When I did the math it was just more economical for me and, and a little easier on my time to purchase frames instead of build them. Now I know there were a few things that I wanted to say and I can't remember what they were, so I'm going to leave it off here. Thanks for watching.